Um, but uh, can you mind tell me what's going on with Miley Cyrus? I just twerk it. Ladies, sisters, talk to me. How the hell did y'all let Miley Cyrus take twerking to another level? Like, in order to twerk, you have to have an ass to twerk, right? You have to have an ass to twerk. Like, but she's like, she's just twerking to an whole other level. People are asking her, to, can you teach me how to twerk? Like, and she's been twerking. Like, she's like, yeah, I was twerking. Like, it's a, it's a workout now. They be like, like, it's a workout. Like, this girl might ask me to learn how to twerk. I said, men don't twerk. No, we don't twerk. No, we no, don't do that. We don't do that. So I got my, my little niece, she's about nine years old. I heard about she want to twerk. I said, you better twerk your ass and do some work. Like, you ain't doing twerking. Like, what's what? Nine years old, you want to twerk? Nah, this is stop. You gotta stop it. You gotta stop it. But, um, anybody went out today, Black Friday? Anybody went shopping? We all broke, right? You see what I say, man? I see my shirt says it all, right? Um, but I, I got, uh, I got banned from Walmart. Uh, so no more Black Fridays for me, uh, Walmart. Um, I had a situation that happened a couple of years ago. I don't know if I should share this with you guys, but I'm gonna do it. Um, I went to Black Friday Walmart to get this laptop, right? Please, please. I won't stop talking about you. I don't do that, but I will. Um, but yeah, I went to Black Friday, you know, Walmart, and I went to get this laptop. And you know how sometimes they only get like five or six? So they trick you, they make you go, they make you go there, and I went to um, get a laptop, and they were all gone. But I stood in line since 4.30 for like for a couple hours. I said, no, nah, I'm not leaving here empty-handed. So the, uh, the hood in me took the best of me that day. So what happened was I saw a, a cart unoccupied with the laptop that I wanted. And I saw a couple over there not watching the cart. Bad, bad, that's bad. You should not uh, ever leave your cart unattended on Black Friday um, because a person like me will take the laptop and run. And that's what happened. Uh, I took the laptop and run. I'm not proud, it's not a proud moment. Um, but I was there for a purpose. And so this guy started chasing me around the Walmart. And you know, it was one of those situations, like I said, I'm not proud of it. Um, but that's, that's, that's in the story, because I mean, it's, it's, I, I don't even know why I told you that, but it, it's, that normal Black Friday to me, that, that's, um, but um, anybody have kids? Anybody got kids? Anybody take, y'all take care of kids too, right? Damn, you ain't clap for that one. You said we got them, we gonna take care of them. They said you ain't read the manual, huh? You ain't read the manual. You can have them, but you ain't gotta take care of them. But um, it's a problem that I go through right now. I have a 15 year old son and he's taller than me. And um, the problem is, you know, he's taller than me and I never really had a problem with being short until I had a son that's taller than me. So being short is like not sexy because my son, he plays little games. He starts putting dishes up on the top show. So I gotta like get a step ladder and get like every dish. And, it, and it, it's not, it's funny to him, but it's not because I'm like, ooh, like, no, that's not funny. Like, uh, like why, why I gotta be jumping on step ladder to get the dishes and stuff? So it really hit me how short I was when I went to this shoe store and I couldn't reach the shoes that I want. And my son had to reach it for me. It, it was a wrap then, it was a wrap. Um, and not only does, is he taller than me, but he looks older than me. So I look like his little brother. So when I go to pick him up at school, I didn't make the attention. Because they're like, oh, like, I'm sitting there arguing with the lady, like, man, we're here to pick up my son. No, he played me. So I gotta show him my ID. And she's like apologizing that the principal sent me a letter. No, like, really apologize. I'm like, no, that, that's that's messed up. You know what I mean? I got little girls trying to holler at me. Who's that your big brother? Like, no, that's my father. Like, it's, it's a problem. So that's what I'm dealing with. That's my life. But um, anybody in relationships? Relationships. Yo, you should be tough right now, girl. Hold up with your woman, unless she's your mistress or something. You're like, yeah. like fellas, really. Like your relationships can be hard, right? But it can also be easy if we just shut the hell up. Like this is what I had to learn the hard way. Man, we cannot win an argument with a lady, no matter how hard you try. These women are Johnny Cochran's to to arguments. Like you cannot win when a woman feels like she's right. She will argue you to the death, and you just gotta take it. But if she's wrong, she won't tell you right then. She won't wait till later till she calm down. You're like, yeah, Poppy, you know I was wrong. You know, sorry, sorry, you were right. I love you, too, too. but like in that moment, now nah, I'm like, nah, I'm right, you wrong, and then you shut up. She's like, what you ain't got nothing to say? What you ain't got nothing to say? Cat caught your tongue. Mm, mm, mm. Like, like, I can't wait. I can't be quiet. I can't you know, and then this is what happens, man. Men, we don't like falling in love. Not that it's a bad thing, because it makes us kind of soft, right? 
you started like doing things like going to get your get a pedicure, manicure with her and shit, you know what I mean? You start watching Lifetime and you're really loving it. You're like, woo, damn. Uh, you know what I mean? Like you, you start watching football. Sometimes you still watch Lifetime with her because you in love. You start sounding like Drake on the phone, like baby, no you hang up. No, you won't hang up on three hang up. Like it, it, it does something to you. But love is a good thing. Love, love is a real good thing. But fellas, this only do something for y'all. For the ladies, we something for y'all. Whenever you get in an argument with your woman, this is what you gotta do. Now I know some of y'all wanna be R&B singing, you wanna be Trey Song Usher. So this is what you gotta do. So DJ, I need you to play that song that you played in the beginning. You know, that was such a photo. DJ. Where's the DJ? He's right. It's a recession. It's a recession. Yeah. 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 Yeah.